Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast. It has been a few days. The uh, server host was having a lot of problems with its computer and stuff like that, and the server was down a lot. But we're here. Managed to get a stack of iridium. I turned six stacks of shiny ingots into iridium ore. And if you see in my inventory here, I'm going to be making the entire quantum suit set. And all my centrifuges are loaded with just 16 uranium each. The mushroom forest is doing better. I t took out the terraformer and stuff. But I have this right here. I took out some hybrids and built an ultimate hybrid solar panel. It's 512 max output, 512 generated per tick in the daytime goes down to 64 at night. Let's see, I got hybrid panels. And this thing is actually producing stuff really fast. I logged in, had 27 UU matter and like half a stack of scrap left. So that's producing quite well. I took a stack of UU matter and turned it into iridium ore as well. So it's going quite smooth. Oh yes, right now, this, ah, I'm gonna lose respiration. Oh well. Sicko's hat, glass. Oops. Silly me. And it does take 10 plates to do this. To make the whole set. Come on. Whoops. Hmm. Let's see. First, let's go with the pants. Glowstone, Lapatron. Head that backwards. Quantum pants. With boots. Like so. There we go. Had it backwards. Let's see, chest piece, I believe, actually goes like this. That's the most iridium heavy part of it. Oh, I got it backwards, I think. There we go. Had it backwards. Now for the helmet. I believe it goes like this. There we go. And each of these takes exactly one million EU to fill up. Oh, and this is updated to the most up-to-date version of Greg Tech and stuff like that. So the Nano Saber recipe now takes two Iridium Plate, Platinum or Shiny Ingots here, a Lapitron Crystal, and two Energy Flow Circuits, which if you're making these you would be better off doing this method because you can get more out of it for a cheaper price, in my opinion. Up to you what you want to do with it. With my next three pieces of iridium, I'm going to be making this. Hopefully it hasn't changed in price. Takes two for that. And then, let's see, it's going to be one, two, four. Ah, this takes five iridium to make. No, six. Takes two for these, two here, and then I need to do this recipe here twice. That's one, two, three, four, six. Six for this will destroy anything in one shot. Does 30% more damage in a nano saber. Let's put those in. Now I will not need food anymore as long as I got cans of food. I need to set up a farm somewhere. Oh, and I finally got my 
uh, electrical engines to work proper. I'll show you that in just a second. I can show you right now. Oh crap, 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 crap. That should not be on. I'm glad that the thermionic fabricator and that take up a lot of power. Yeah, they constantly drain of power, so you, you always need to refill them with energy when, after you turn them off and stuff. I wonder why these numbers are low. There we go, full quantum suit. A tiny nano saber. Oh, and there is, if you press a zero in the upper keypad, number pad, it brings up an item renderer for some silly reason. I don't know why it's there. It's slightly annoying. But for these, not this one, not this one. Ah, there's one. I have a larger circuit board inserted. And I put two bronze and a copper tube in this one. So it increases output by a total of eight and reduces it by one. So it outputs this engine will now output nine MJ per tick when it's going. While this one would only produce two. I think I got other ones in here. I know a good spot to show. Do I have anything? No. Okay. Uh, this one here. Flip it on. In here I have this one. Just a, I shouldn't have used a large circuit board for this. But it reduces output by one and reduces intake by two. As you can see, it only outputs one MJ per tick instead of saying two. And these are fixed now, so that actually shows how much they output. How long on these? Quite a while. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, gotta fix that really quick as well. Because the zoom is left control and the boost key is left control. Let's go with just go with the right control for that. Shoink. Super jump thanks to the boots. Ha. <laughs> Don't even need a jetpack. And this is overkill for this design. I guess what I could do is take a uranium cell and mix it with the UU matter to make plutonium if I wanted. Oops. Let's just switch back this. And I was watching this and it got struck by lightning the other day and this blue bar here was just going really, really fast for a few passes. It took a long time, but I finally got my took a, cleaned this area up, and it took a while, but I drained the entire quarry of water. Oh, it was bad. I disconnected so many times because of it. Got most of these cleaned out. Probably won't need them now with ender. If I get more ender chests put in. I ended up getting a good bit of diamond, about 15 out of the bedrock. It was a, it was hiding down there. That's not a dungeon. I just had mossy cobble on me when I was mining up some diamond. So I got a lot of work to clean this out. There's that pond that I quarried through. The easiest way to clean up the water was just to build a pool. That cow's still there. It's 
kind of funny. Whoa, forgot to add the speedy pants. Got all these queens, or yeah, queens. Believe I got this one out of the dungeon I destroyed. I got a lot of wood. I should have left that thing on. Let's see. Now this, I believe this is still only 1.4.6. Should put that quantum chess piece back at home. See, lots and lots of cobble. I took most of my sand or gravel and turned it into flint to make into industrial TNT, which I have about a little over four stacks of, probably more. This thing full. Yep. I consolidate all these down to one chest as best I can. Uh, I spent a good bit of time just now watching B00 and Generic B's live stream. Oh, that was hilarious. see here. I really wish the queen bees would stack, or the princesses. Might have to leave two chests for now. I want to turn most of this cobble into scrap. I also turned a good bit of cobble into sand for the TNT. I'm also going to need more sand for the... what you call it? for the induction smelters so I can get more platinum. And I'm not at my base right now. Yes, he wants to test out his new hybrids. I don't blame him either. Uh, this one, for, oh, that one's clean. And that's not good. I see those guys sitting there. Ultimate charge. Oops. Oh yeah, it's just as normal zombie. I shouldn't have died that fast. I must have knocked him off. That one's full, this one's... Okay. And there's some really bad portal lag going on. in my way. And once I get this done I gotta clear it. Clean out all this marble. Probably not gonna cover this hole. I don't think anyone's ever gonna be living here. So what did I fill this with? And I should actually get started on the bee stuff as well. I can put some solar panels out with them to power everything. Whoa. And takes forever. And as you can tell, getting a lot of lag because this thing is not all green and sane stuff like it should be. It's usually 30 seconds of portal lag. I ran out of glowstone earlier and went to the nether and it just oh, almost died on that trip. It was bad. I keep saying I was gonna do the bee stuff but I never really got around to it. 
Let's see. Easiest way to find stuff, if you don't know the exact names of all the machines, is to go into the search bar, or make the search bar blank, and just click through everything, like so, until you find the mod that you're going to be working with, or that you want to find out on, about. Let's see. Like here, we got... Uh, Alviary, which is bee stuff, bee candles, uh, engines. Uh, I believe all the bee stuff is with forestry, which is all this. All this new wood. You got Rainmaker, which is horribly expensive to make. You got advanced genetic machine, isolators, replicators, purifiers, inoculator, synthesizers. So much stuff to make. And it's not really all that expensive to make this stuff either. This one might be a little expensive. Gassed tears. Yeah, see, you know, it's all quite simple to make. Yeah, that one's. You need to make a lot of these. I guess that's the machine block for it, for these machines. Well, I mean, some of this stuff is just crazy expensive, but it's not that bad. So I'm gonna get a nice big spot built up for this. Oh, look, it's daytime. There are tons of overclockers, and it just speeds through it. Let's see, was it this one? One, two, three, four. A little over four stacks. Got three stacks of iron blocks. I'm gonna drop that in there too. Uh, what is it? Down here. As you see, it's quite full, and it was bad. I mean, each stack of those blocks is one line here. Yeah, it takes nine stacks of iron ingots to make nine stack or a full stack of iron block. So I had iron blocks all the way out here, plus two. So it was filled up this box really bad. Even made a stack of nickel ingots as well. Got a gold chest filled with the zycorium from the quarry, which I plan on just scrapping or using a little bit of. Oh. Let's see. Do this. Oh, I traveled with. I used a teleporter with a full inventory of stuff. That is expensive. And I believe without any circuits in the engine, it pulls like a 44 out of 64. But I have it downgraded so it pulls less. I could have it pull even more if I wanted. Like if I upgraded the engine to be better. Now that'd just be silly to do. Not that one. Turn on. Uh oh. That's not good. I believe the server has crashed yet again. Uh, I managed to show. Oh, there it goes. Sheesh. No? Wow. That was bad lag. Oh, I can get around my place so much easier. Whoosh. Oops. And with these pants you can run 
faster underwater. I need compressed air cells to breathe underwater with this helmet. Oh well. It's quite fun. Do you love these pants and stuff like that? Ow. Look at that. Not even a hundred thousand EU drained out of the boots yet. Pretty close. Ah. Almost made it. Hey, look, sapphire. <laughs> I really need to hit the uh, ender farm and get more levels so I can get another, uh, get a silk touch diamond pick. Oh, come on. Instead of just. I would use silk touch. Uh green sapphire picks, but you can't mine some things with it. You can't mine stuff in the end other than sodalite, and you can't mine iridium. Try the jetpack. Whoosh. Now, the sheldonite in the end doesn't produce as much as it used to now. It used to give you, if you used a mercury cell in the grinder, you could get 12 platinum and 1 iridium for 4. And now you get 4. Ah, right click. So smelt it for platinum, macerate it for 2 dust. <coughs> in the grinder though. One Sheldonite turns into two, du two Platinum Dust, one Nicolite, and two Iridium Nuggets. Now if you had four of these, you still get the eight Platinum Dust, so that's normal. Or you make three and get the twelve, which is normal also. The main difference with this is the Iridium Nugget. You only get two. And with Iridium Nuggets, Take nine of them and make one ingot. So now it takes five Sheldonite ore to get one iridium instead of just four. So it's a little worse than it used to be for this method. Oh well. I'm gonna have a lot of work to do with the regarding bees and other things like that. Set up a world anchor. I think it's a uh, one pearl for 12 hours or something like that. So I just check that every now and then, make sure it's fully stocked. And I just have to make sure. I'm fully stocked on scrap up top before I go to bed, and everything's fine. And with how bad this lag is getting right now, I'm probably going to call it an end to this video. I haven't really done much other than make quantum stuff. And I should have done a hybrid, ultimate hybrid on camera, but I got a little too excited earlier. Whoop. Well, I guess that's the end of this one. See you all next time, and peace out.